So let's go and open our project. I'm going to close the folder here. And what we're going to do is to create a new file here. So I'm command N or you can go file, new file. And I'm going to under iOS, I'm going to create a Swift file. So this will be our model for our current weather. So I call this current weather. And I'm going to right click and uh, new group from selection. And this will create a folder. I'm going to call this model. So we have nice organized place here. All right. So this is what we get with it. Um, in order to start, we need to create our class and the class I'm going to call this current weather. Open and close parenthesis and this will be my class here. So I'm going to write one function now so we can start using our uh, our weather uh, class here. So in order to get our current weather, so I'm going to say func and I'm going to say get current weather. And let's open and close parentheses. And this is our function here. So let's see what we need in our uh, class here. First, we need to have this uh, weather URL what type of weather we want to get. So if I go to my Safari here and I'm going to just copy the URL from here and let's get back. I'm going to say um, let allocation API underscore URL. And this is gonna be equals to a string and this is our string here. So I'm putting this capital because uh, we're going to change this later on and put in different place. So we have uh, our URL here. Other than this, we are going to use camel case in our lecture. So we have our URL. So if we access this URL, we are going to receive all this information as you can see on in your browser. We're just going to get this in a code here. So in order to access this, uh, we are going to use our Alomo fire to help us here. And in order to use it, we need to import it first. So I'm going to say Alomo fire. And since you have the pods installed, it will auto complete for you. So we inst import our Alomo fire. And since we are here, let's import the Swifty JSON as well. And this should auto complete for you as well. Right, so let's uh, let's use our Alomo fire here, and uh, what we are going to do is say Alamo fire, and we are going to uh, make a request here. Say dot request, and when we do a request, uh, we are going to provide a URL here. So if you hit enter. We have this uh, our URL here, so we can uh, we can copy this and pass it here, and then we want to get a response, and this is going to be a response JSON, and we just let me close the panel here. We just hit enter, and this is what we are going to receive. So we are going to call this variable response. And what our Alomo fire will do is take the, uh, the URL here and uh, receive a JSON. Since we know what we are going to receive, it will receive a JSON. And this is the response it will provide. So it will go parse the information and break down to us. So what I want to do is first to check if we have any result. So we say let result is equals and we access the response which is a data response and this is any type and uh, we are going to get the result 
and then we are going to check if our result was successful so we say if result is success so we did receive something from our uh, provided URL there otherwise uh, we are going to put an else here and let's just have a print here so we know what's going on and we say no result found for current location all right and if we do have a result let's just uh, let's just get uh, converted to json and we're going to say let json is equals and here we are using our uh, swifty json we call the json and what we're going to do is pass our result here and the value of our result so this will convert it into json and i'm going to say print and i'm going to print my json here the small one so now we have written this function and we have this class here so in order to call this uh, i'm going to say call this first class class function so we can access this in our uh, view controller without initializing the class here so in our view did load let's uh, let's do let's say uh, current weather which is our class name and then we can access our get current weather and let's see It's just command build because it doesn't understand that this is a class function. Now it understands. So we access our uh, current weather here. So if I run my application on iPhone 10X, uh, 10S, let's just command R to run our application. And we are, we'll be able to get some information in our log here at the bottom but we are not going to see anything on simulator because it's going to be white screen what we are interested in is to receive the information here so as you can see we received this json and this is the exact same thing that we have in our uh, browser here because we're accessing to the same information for the same city and we receive all the information from our weather API so we can now use this information from our JSON that we receive from our API and uh, we can create our own current weather class here so it's easier for us to have like some parameters of our class instead of just having a big JSON tree and every time we need to parse through it to receive the information. So in our next lecture, we are going to build our current weather class so we can access it every time we receive some information from our uh, weather stations.